Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. I'm James, and today we're talking She-Hulk, Hulk smash, and all that fun stuff. Well, not that normal. These transformations are triggered by anger and fear. And this She-Hulk show, I'm getting very excited for because it, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll talk about it in just a little bit, but you're all here for one reason and one reason only, and that is because it looks like the look of She-Hulk, how she is going to look, has been leaked. Or not really leaked, but it's kind of out there. It just went out there. It's crazy how it happened. And here we are right here. If you look at our screen, bam, right there. Thermos. A thermos gave us the leak. This is how she's going to look. I think she looks kind of cool, to be perfectly honest with you. It's kind of classic She-Hulk. Like, that's it. There's nothing more to really say about it. It looks classic comic. But, you know, obviously an upgrade. A little bit more, you know, MCU than than her typical form that we know know and they're not changing her appearance too too much uh like they do with bruce banner versus the hulk although now with professor hulk he's a little bit more mark ruffalo but i like this i i just i think it's fine it's funny that they've released it on a thermos although also fitting because it is she hulk that they would release this in a thermos i'd like i like this and i can tell you just from the, the looks of these pictures here from these leaks you kind of I know this is going to sound like a stretch, but you understand, I think, the tone that they're going for with this show. And it's very MCU, obviously, very family friendly. You know, it's not going to be Moon Knight or Daredevil and push the boundaries of any of that stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. And when you look at it, I think this what's going to make this even more unique than anything is going to break the fourth wall, which She-Hulk is known to do. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. You've got Jessica Gao from Rick and Morty. She's the showrunner and writer. You got Kate Coiro from Shameless and Enu Valia of Mixed Dish. And those two are going to be the directors. And I think what I've read was Coiro, Coiro will be directing six episodes and Valia will be doing three episodes. And there's one episode, who knows who's directing it. Somebody from Marvel who's done some Marvel stuff in the past is going to swoop in and do something. I don't know. We're going to find out. It sounds like a lot of fun. But given you know the talent behind this, like Gao has done robot chicken and silicon valley and of course rick and morty as i said and then you have koiro who's done shameless brooklyn 99 dead to me it's always sunny and valley has done victor and never have i ever like just the quality of the shows the humor of the shows but the quality of the humor of the shows these aren't slapstick looney tunes these are top-notch sitcoms these are quality stuff and so i just with when I look at this, I think this actually looks really good. I think she looks solid. She looks like she Hulk. This is what you want to see. And I want to see Walters get that blood transfusion from her cousin Bruce Banner. I want some Bruce Banner in there talking to her, her lawyer friends. I hope she gets shot. I hope the first episode is her persecuting someone and that guy comes after her and shoots shoots her and then she needs her blood transfusion. I don't want it to go too dark, but I want it to be fun. I, I Like I said, I do think she's going to talk to the camera. But what do you guys think? Do you like these images of She-Hulk? Do you think she's going to break the fourth wall and talk to the camera? Let us know in the comments below. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.